Okay guys, so really quick, I just want to first intro this video and let you know that I do apologize. I tried to film two videos in one day the other day when I picked up my Duramax and I was going to actually, not actually, I was going to, I did take the wheel and tires off the first gen and I showed you around the Duramax with the with the original set that came on the truck and then the first gen and swapping the wheel and tires out of the first gen, putting them on the Duramax, all that stuff. I got all that video and then I didn't realize until I sat down to edit after I took those last couple clips of you know the montage around the truck that I had actually accidentally completely deleted all those clips after editing the first video which was the reveal of the Duramax because I'm used to after filming my video, sitting down to edit the one video. When I take my SD card out of my computer, before I leave I always go to my card, select all clips, delete, and then I take the card out of the computer because I hate running out of storage when I'm out trying to film a video. So uh, due to habit, I accidentally deleted all the clips. So all that being said, I apologize for the video being really short, but I did delete like more than half the video, unfortunately. So um, that kind of sucks, but hopefully you still enjoy this. Hopefully you guys remember what the truck looked like before. Obviously, if you didn't, watch our previous video. Just a very basic small upgrade we did to the truck just because the first one is not in use currently. So why well, have a good set of wheels and tires not being used. But just this is just a temporary thing that we did to the truck just to give it a new look, a little bit more aggressive stance and appearance. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Enjoy the video. Sorry about the clips. drive really nice except for about a little bit ago when uh, we had this vibration in the front end <laughs> and I just took it by shop and I'm, I told the guy I said yeah I, dro I was gonna drop the truck off for some strange vibration in the front end and he's like I said but I did just put new wheels and tires on it I said but I jacked it up by the the a arm on each side and then I you know set it down after I put the wheels and tires on he's like He's like, you might have like lifted those ball joints up out of place a little bit. He's like, and then it was just since they weren't quite lined up perfectly, you know, and settled down in where they're supposed to be comfortably, he's like, it might have been creating a little bit of vibration up over, because it was like just up over 45 miles per hour, it would start to vibrate just a little bit. And uh, after like 15 minutes of driving, it completely stopped and out straight as narrow again. So whatever, I told him, never mind. I'm not gonna drop it off at the shop yet. Just have it checked. If it, it drives totally fine now, straight as an arrow. But we did just drop her truck off for an alignment because I think they said their alignments are like 60 bucks and they do all of our truck alignments. They did the first gen, they did um, Big Stinky, Nasty Res. I mean, they, they've done a lot of work for us and they do really, really good stuff. They've also done tons of front end parts and all that work and they're always pleased with their work. So anyways, we're gonna get to showing you the full reveal of these new wheels and tires on this truck that we took off the first gen. And I gotta say, this truck definitely pulls off the look better than the first gen, but uh, it looks it looks really good. I was, I was. So guys, I just went out there and took one for the team and uh, froze my, my hands are permanently frozen about like that. Um, no, I'm guessing, I'm kidding, but no, it is, uh, it is really cold out. Like your joints and stuff just like freeze so fast. This Arctic Indiana weather is getting kind of old. Are you sick of it? I'm sick of it. Like it goes from like being like 
sunny in like 40s nonstop, and then just like, well not always sunny, some rain and stuff, some sleep mixed in, but then just like brutally cold, like instantly, in a matter of a couple of days, and just staying like that, so, kind of kind of crazy i don't know this indiana weather is all over the place but thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys like the wheel and tire setup on this truck now just so nobody freaks out no that is not staying on this truck as i said it earlier on in the video this is like a temporary modification however if you guys would like to see the truck stay with a setup like this just let me know also, if you have any better recommendations or you think, ah, maybe it look better with mud trains, maybe it look better leveled out or lifted or, you know, whatever, let me know all that stuff as well. Let me know down in, in the comment section below what you guys think and how you really want this truck to look and how you guys would build this truck if it were your own. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are awesome. And you know what? Just We'll just, we'll just do a little plug here for you. Go to my beautiful fiance's uh, YouTube channel. It is Reagan Marshall, and uh, search that on YouTube and go subscribe to her, and uh, she will be very, very thankful for that. So, guys, thank you so much. Leave a fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.